are moving the test kitchen, the Beaster 19 test kitchen. Hi, Hi Mark. Hi, Rick. Hi, How are you doing, brother? Good nice to see, to see you. you. We're out here at Molnar Farms. This is uh, Rick Molnar. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for coming. I was going to say, we're glad to be here. You've been talking about this I mean, you know, for like months, weeks, when we were still first starting talking about this show. He's like, we got to go to Walmart. <laughs> I know. When I moved back into town, Rick so. was one of my first local crop partners. And we've been associated together since probably, what, 2008? Yeah, it's been a while now. It's 2008. So, you know, I've used him in every restaurant I've been a part of. And now, you know, uh, at Bistro 1907, he's a proud partner with us there. And, uh, you know, it's peach season. It is. It is, yes. It's peach season, so and we're going to make some cobbler today. You are always raving about any kind of dish with peaches in it. I love peaches. And people go crazy for Georgia peaches. But for so some reason, do you, you, you think that these are just as good. So I, I, I want to know what the difference is between your peaches well, uh, and everybody else's. So I think the biggest difference between ours and Georgia's is just they're here. They don't have to come all the way from Georgia, so they don't have to be picked, you know, three weeks away from being ready. We can pick them a couple days away from when they're ready, and they have more sugar, they've got more uh, juice, more taste to them. So we're actually getting a tree-ripened peach yeah, you're getting versus a, tree a peach that's ripened, ripened, ripened in the store. Maybe ripened ethylene in the gas sure, in the warehouse. Right, sure, absolutely. Right. We don't want anything ripened with ethylene gas. No, we don't so. want that. <laughs> you guys are going to make something fantastic. We're going to make some We're going to make some You're going to sponsor the, the ingredients, sure, and you yeah. are going to make something So look fantastic. at this beautiful so. peach. So we're going to take this peach, and my okay. pastry chef, Amanda Chop, she, she, Amanda House too, sorry Amanda, uh, help me prepare this. So we're going to take the peaches, we're going to blanch them, we're going to peel the skins. And okay. so once we peel the skins, we're going to take them and slice them. We're going to put them into the bowl. And look at those gorgeous colors. Are you so proud I mean, of you? I mean, you just, you just, you just yeah. want to do that, that now. So we're going to take some lemon juice because, you know, with peaches, they have a tendency to turn a little bit brown on you. A little bit of lemon juice, some ground cinnamon. A little bit of ground cinnamon. We're going to take some cornstarch because cornstarch in the cobbler is going to be the Binder, it's gonna make that little bubbly, happy gel inside of that cobbler. Like so we're gonna take some cornstarch. Our support. Yep. <laughs> We're going to take a little bit of sugar in the raw because I love the natural caramel, the unrefined sugar to work with this. And we're just going to mix these up and make them happy. And you know I like happy. to make peaches happy. I know. So we're going to take this, mix it up real nice. We're going to take these beautiful crocs that we have and we're going to dump this into the crock. That's so simple. This, very simple so far, very simple. And, and cobbler is simple. And the next part, we're going to make the crumb. Rick, if you could take that for me. Sure. So we have you a combination of a little bit of sugar, <laughs> a little bit of salt. We're making a, a quick, simple dough. Sugar, salt, baking powder, butter, a little bit of water to bring it together. And then just this, this is just really quick and simple. We're going to mash the butter into the flour. Just so you, like this. You just mash it. You're not going to have like a handheld mixer. No, like no, you don't want to do that because what you're going to do is you're going to overwork the flour and you're going to oh. make more of a dough and this is a crumb. If you overwork that, it's going to be very tough and chewy because what you're doing is flour has a, pro a protein in it called gluten. And once you overwork that gluten, it's going to be very, very tough. So we're just going to mix this together you're just like this. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to take this and put it on top just like this. It? Just crumble And that's why it's a crumble. Okay, we're gonna put it on top like so. Amanda would be so proud of you right now. I think now. she would, or she'd be yelling at me. Could be, it could be either other. way. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that sugar in the raw and put it on there. We're gonna take it into a 425 degree oven for 12 minutes. Okay. We're gonna do it just like this. And when we come back, we're gonna top that with some really great local ice cream. We're gonna have a glass of wine and we're gonna enjoy it. Rick's like, okay, okay. sign me up for <laughs> yep. that. Then we gotta let him get back to work. We'll be right back, stay with us. Well, we're back, and this oven of yours, Mark, I know. doing its job, it's right? Doing, doesn't it smell amazing in oh, here? It smells it's great. It's you smell the here. cinnamon, you smell the sugar, the caramelized sugar, you smell the peaches, just wonderful aromas. It just says fall, right? Let's see what's so in there. So we're going to open this up. Let's see what's in there. So we're just going to pull this out, and this is all nice and happy and bubbly. Look at how that oh, sugar is caramelized good. really beautifully on top of there. you got the crumb that's melted in, the flowers combined with the water and the butter, and you have this beautiful crumble on top now. All right, so now we're going to even take that to the next level. Here we go. This and how do you do that? This is when he really makes it happy. So, so you know, I've grown up in, in this valley for a long time, and to me, Handel's ice cream, hands down, winter winter chicken dinner you know what i mean there's a reason why there's a reason there's why there's a reason why and i think the perfect pairing for this because we want we have a little textural change we're going to go with pecan praline okay pecan praline like ice a cream a little sweet salty. a little salty we're going to oh, put that beautiful ice beautiful. cream on top just like that and now i'm going to leave it up to you and rick cuz you guys are the honored guests over here to taste that and we're going to pair that today with a great wine that we serve After at Easter 1907 Cheers, bud. 
and that is called the Jazz Odyssey. And I get that from my friend Lisa Bundy. And it's gonna have some notes of caramelized onion, pear nectar, a little bit of honey, but it's gonna be backed up by a little bit of citrus. So it's gonna pair with that really, really well. It's gonna balance out oh, the sweetness mm. of the, the crisp. That's good. That's some serious. Mm -hmm. Is that some serious good stuff? Gobbler, man. Okay. So why don't you take a sip with the wine? I'm gonna taste a bit. I'm just gonna eat. Mm. That's perfect with that. Cheers, cheers. 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 Enjoy. Oh my goodness. So Rick, what do you have coming up here at so, Lunar Farms? So coming up here at the end of the month, uh, September 29th, we've got our uh, Fall Fest Craft Show and it kind of kicks off our fall weekend. So we'll have hay rides out to the pumpkin patch. We'll have uh, our corn maze will open up. Uh, we'll have our kids play area open up and we're kind of getting everybody in the mood so for fall. So I see, I see your famous bundles outside. What yeah. are we doing with the bundles this year? So that's my sister. She's, uh, she's the artist. We're, uh, our theme this year is Toy Story. So we've got uh, Woody and Jess and Buzz and uh, all the characters from Toy Story out front with our straw bales. That's Very fab. Good. And then and, and how long are you going to be open for the rest of the season? So we're here until the Saturday after Thanksgiving. We'll kind of wrap things up with our Christmas on the Farm uh, craft show. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for having oh, us out for to the farm. Out. It's and always a great pleasure to come out here. Yeah. And thank you for giving him such great ingredients all the time. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the thing. I mean, when we talk about Molnar Farms, you're talking about going right from the vine to your table. And how much better is that? And you appreciate it so much. I do. All right, <laughs> all right guys. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much. That's Enjoy. A, that's a wrap.